What's going on guys, it's Savage Guys coming back with you with another video guys. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people have not been putting up anything about the Razor Claws, the Razor Fangs, and you know, I don't normally post up a lot of, um, I've been, first off, I've been playing a lot of the Pokemon uh, game, I've actually had a great time with it. Don't have a capture card, and that's another reason why I don't like to uh, film things, but I was thinking to myself, like a lot of people have just been asking for, and I've been seeing on like the Reddit, the Twitters, I've been seeing it, and just like I'm noticing that a lot of people just don't know where it is. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna do two two parts. Uh, we're gonna do the Razor Claw first. Um, this is something that I've been able to get. Now uh, a couple things before we get going. You're gonna want first off uh, before I uh, before we continue. Uh, you're gonna want to go on to the Pony Trail. You're gonna want to make sure you go on to the Ancient Point Path right there. You want to make sure you're right there, right next to the. Uh, not the farther one, but the one that's closer to you right there. Make sure that you've flown over there. I was already there, but I'm going to fly again right over there. A couple things you're going to want. You're going to want a Pokemon that has uh, competent eyes. Butterfree. Butterfree is a huge one that you can have to actually go in and capture this right here. Now, you're actually going to try to capture a Pokemon. Uh, what's it? The Yagmoon? Yagmoon? It's like the um, pseudo legendary. Now, that is what you're going to want to go and do to actually go and get... Uh, where you're gonna actually be farming it off of so you actually gotta farm it off of Pokemon but going back to the Pokemon uh, you can either have a Pokemon that has Frisk and be able to look it up right there and that actually helps out right there it lets you know whenever you have a Pokemon or you can have a Pokemon that has confident eyes and thief now we're gonna farm up a couple of uh, Pokemon until we finally get him uh, I'll probably cut in a couple times just so you can kind of so you don't have to wait every single time for me to actually look, look, look for a Pokemon but um, when I get back to the video, I'm going to show you guys uh, just how easy it is to get it, guys. And I will be back. Alright, guys. After about 20 or 25 about encounters, um, I finally found him. Uh, I think it's Dingamo. So I would pronounce his name wrong the last time. But yeah, guys. Just so you know, he's not the most common uh, encounter. And that's why I really want to show you guys like this method right here. So, um... Going back to what I was saying before, the Butterfree has Confident Eyes. What well, Confident Eyes does, pretty much for anyone who doesn't know already, so it, just so you know, uh, Jangomo has a 5% chance of having this item on him, so that is super low. But with Confident Eyes, it makes it so that 5% turns into about 50%. If I'm correct, that is the uh, new number, pretty much now. That's what I'm pretty sure is what it is now. So it just makes it so that when you have thief, and just so you know, my, my Butterfree right now has no items on it, has nothing on right now. So how to make this work is to use your competent eyes and you can use thief. Or, or you can have an executor or something with frisk and be able to just check it now. Because what you have to do is you have to have the Butterfree first. If you don't have the Butterfree first, guys, then just don't even try to do this because it's going to be far too hard and it's just not going to work out correctly. So let's just see if we can get it right off the bat. So right now I have my Thief. I'm going to check to see if I have it. It will let you know also whenever you have it too. So let's see. Let's see if this guy, did we get it? Nope, we did not. So all we got to do now is just chain, and that's fine. Um, normally you don't get it off on the first one. If you do, that's awesome, but usually it doesn't work out that way. So that would be cool though. But uh, let's see, looks like he's calling for help right off the bat, so okay, okay. So again, he, uh, every single one of these guys, unless you hit uh, unless you hit his third evolution, it's a 50% chance. Um, so um, it's always going to be 5-5 five, five, and then his final one's 50. So if you have the competent eyes, then you should be able, then you have about as good as chance. I think if you have the final evolution and then you go and do it from there, I believe it's a 100% chance if you see his final evolution and have competent eyes. I like to have the Butterfree too because if you actually see it from right here, uh, Butterfree is super effective on two things for me, Psychic and the Air Slash right there. So I can just one shot these guys and it's a pretty strong Butterfree too so you can just keep keep the chain going and that's the biggest thing is just keep that thing going. So and that's what you really got to do to make it so that you can actually get um get one going so um i doubt he'll do a uh, i doubt he'll do another one and if you guys don't know efficient training i'm actually going to show you a real quick one right now unless he calls for help again uh which he did not so let's uh, pop out that weevil which um i didn't really even get a chance to show a lot of you guys right now but i do have the weevil right there so um and my weevil also has false wipe so make sure to have that too that is a big must you must have the false wipe because it just drops them down and on one health and the lower health they are it just makes it so that it's a hell of a lot easier to catch so as you can see i have the weevil so i had to get a razor claw plus the one i have so i think i've farmed about like three or four of these bad boys so so far um only reason why i haven't farmed much more 
it's just because I, um, it just like it's just the encounter rate, honestly. It's just like it take. I think, like I said, I think it's about a ten percent right there. And of course, he's been using iron defense too, so he's gonna make it complicated for me. So, <laughs> but it always seems to work out that way. So, but you know, it is what it is. You know, can't really do anything about it. So, we'll just smash through this right here. And probably when I do my editing too, I'll definitely probably um make it so that I can speed up the time a little bit so that we can actually see it all happen so we can get to the point so just gonna drop him just a little bit more so okay guys so once you guys get him to one health right there he's gonna start calling for health right there I haven't even even called out my adrenaline orb yet so uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm probably gonna switch back to the butterfree now um, and just so you know like I said the but um, the effects are out right now and the reason why I like to use my Butterfree is just because um, it still has Thief and that is like my surefire way. If for some reason I was having a couple of issues and stuff like that and I just couldn't keep my uh, couldn't keep the Butterfree up right for some reason then um, all I would have to do is just go and use use my Executor and do use Frisk. And just so you guys know this battle is kind of a hard battle if you think about it. You don't have the right Pokemon up and everything right there. I mean they're 40, they're 40, 44s and their stats are not bad. They're actually pretty good. So I mean, it's it is a really good. I mean, they just have really good stats, and that's something that you really got to make sure that you're ready for. Because if not, you're gonna get creamed by these guys. So and the biggest thing is also just like uh, as you can tell, they have a lot of defense lowers and to top it off. So it's like chaining to its max. Because it's like not only do you have to keep yourself alive, but but they're just dropping they're dropping your defenses and. And they're also, they, I think they have work up too. So, I mean, they're just doing some serious damage there. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that actually goes in into this. So, that's why I say to have your Butterfree at least about a 50 or so right there. And then make sure you have like revives and everything else just in case. Because if you don't, then it's just going to be some serious. I mean, you're just going to die and it's going to be a hard battle, believe it or not. So, and then, uh, like I said, we're going to pop out the Adrenaline Orb right there. And then what I'm going to probably do right now is because it is taking a moment, I'm probably going to pop that out and just kind of just um, come back onto the screen whenever it gets a little bit closer to it right here. So let's see how, let's see how some of this chaining goes and I'll come back to it whenever we, uh, whenever I, st whenever I see the, uh, the actual, um, thing come up. So, all right guys, and we're coming back here guys. Sorry, I was waiting for the right chain right there. Um, this was actually taking just a little bit longer than what I was normally expecting, but we did get a kimono which is the highest evolution of, of him right there, which is normally a 50% chance of him having an item, but with competent eyes, it will be a 100% chance of having it right there. So we will thief him right there, and we will get the item for sure. So that's always nice. It doesn't always happen that way, but it is really nice to have. And there's the Razor Claw, guys. So you guys did get, get, get to see it right there. Once you get to this point right here, um, you can pretty much just kill him, get off. You pretty much got your item. You're a happy man right there so and that's pretty much it guys like I said I mean it took I mean okay so normally I've had it where I've gotten it off on the first one I've gotten it off on the third one this one I got it off on the fifth one but then again I didn't want to wait for the full duration of everything just in case if you guys were like hey, okay well where is it gonna be so but yeah guys think about it though five times three times and one time compared to so if you just use frisk and you're just doing that by 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 yourself and if you do that right there I mean I've done chaining for 30 45 minutes and I've gotten nothing so I mean this is a surefire way of actually making sure that that you actually get it right there I did kill him right there because I have two of them I've been actually I've actually been able to farm a little bit of, of those guys while I've been just just chaining so I mean and it's really nice guys and we're gonna go back to the item right now and just so you guys can see it right there and just so you guys know like I said when you use the thief on on on, on the butterfree guys it is on the butterfree so I'm just going to move it up real quick that's the razor claw right there on 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 the butterfree right there we're pretty much just gonna go and we're gonna take it straight off of of the butterfree just so that we have another one so let's go do that right there go back to our items and as you can tell since I don't have a capture card 
I uh, <laughs> can't do it as nice as some of these other guys, but you know, it's still pretty nice to have right there, and I like it a lot. So we go back to there, and now we have two Razor Claws, so from the start. So yeah, guys, this is the fastest way that I've noticed to be able to find it, guys. So as you guys know, you guys know where we're off to come from. You guys know what, what kind of Pokemon to get right there. Make sure to have someone who has false, false swipe and also who has we actually can actually give you guys the stuff that that you guys need when it comes to false swiping and confident eyes and just make sure that confident eyes is up first and if you want to have the frisk you're more than welcome to have it right there and just so you guys can see right there the chaining definitely for me was good and it helped out a lot guys so hopefully that helped you guys maybe this is a little bit better video than some of the ones that i've seen actually honestly i haven't seen really any at all um i've seen people talk about it and stuff like that but no videos on it so Hopefully that helped a little bit. It was a little bit choppy because I am um, <laughs> the luck of the draw. Even though Competent Eyes helps and stuff, guys, it still isn't 100% uh, with everything, and you still gotta kind of have to go off of luck. So hopefully you're a little bit luckier than I am. Tonight was actually really unlucky. Think about it. really unlucky. Only took about 30 minutes. 30 minutes for a Razor Claw. Now, of course, you gotta make sure you have Butterfree and everything, and you doesn't have to be Butterfree. I, there's a couple other Pokemon that have Confident Eyes, so actually all you gotta do is go to Cerebi or go to uh, Bulbapedia or something where it shows off the Pokemons and that and what that can get it right there, guys, and you guys are golden. So, um, my name's Savage, you guys. Hopefully that helped you guys a lot, guys, and I, I am happy to make these videos, and um, will hope that I can make some more for you guys, and maybe I can work my way up to making a capture card in, in here because I really don't like to make videos like this, but you know if it's helps better than nothing you know what i mean so uh thank you guys for watching guys and i'm out of here guys peace out